I've been using Amazon Cloud Drive for quite a few months now. I picked it up. I got a I got a year subscription for five dollars from a I don't remember if it was Black Friday or Cyber Monday sale, and decided I'd try it out. Amazon Cloud Drive's subscription service actually offers unlimited or unlimited storage instead of just like 200 gigs or a terabyte as with some of its competitors it just downright if you pay 60 bucks a year which is still a very fair price you get an entire unlimited amount of storage on their servers Amazon servers are great they are used for content networks for platforms everywhere surely there's nothing wrong with it right well for the most part I'm going to present my review here today, just a brief review of the app and of the platform. It's a very mundane thing to review, but cloud storage has a ton of options for consumers nowadays, and I think it's very important to consider which option you're actually spending your money on, as backing up your data is very important, and you want to make sure that you're satisfied with the choice that you make. So when subscribing to Amazon Cloud Drive, you actually have a couple different options. So I have the pricing list pulled up on my phone here. It works differently if you have Amazon Prime. With Amazon Prime, which is important because that's how a lot of their services work, if you have Amazon Prime, you get unlimited photo storage just automatically. You get unlimited photos and like five gigabytes worth of storage to back up all of or to back up videos and other files and so you get unlimited but keep in mind the photo storage is only like jpegs it's only actual photo files it won't count your raw files from your dslr or anything like that it's just like jpegs and pngs and things like that but unlimited photo storage and that includes from your phone or computer you can upload and then you get five gigabytes to store videos and files or and then after a three month free trial if you don't have amazon prime it's 11.99 a year for that plan but again you get that automatically if you have Amazon Prime now for everything to store absolutely unlimited everything that's photos you can actually separate multiple users uh, that you that use your Amazon account to back up their photos pretty much store unlimited everything that's 69 or 59.99 per year after a three-month trial if you don't have Amazon Prime so and it's still $60 a year for that plan if you do have Amazon Prime that that app is actually divided into two apps on your smartphone as well on the smartphone you have an Amazon photos app which can automatically back up and sync your photos for and that works with that plan but then there's also the Amazon cloud drive that you can use to back up in your sort your photos as well on the desktop there's just the Amazon drive app and this is the ultimate problem with their service. The service is great. They have a great network. Some people have been able to pull an entire gigabyte per second if they have fast enough internet speed down from their servers. You store unlimited everything and you can keep it organized. And it tells you how much space you're taking up on their drive. They have a feature to actually showcase. It's kind of like Facebook's memories. It's like today in 2012. And it'll show you a picture highlight from that time or a video highlight or what have you. It's actually really, really cool. It's very clear that the entire focus of this is still on photos and videos, even if you have the unlimited everything plan and using the normal Amazon Drive app. It's very much focused on photos and videos. And so most of the web interface to actually view and download your files is only optimized for photos and videos as well. But you can store just about everything. Just about. There is a caveat. It is unlimited storage, but you can't upload files bigger than 50 gigabytes, which I find very strange considering their upload, their uploading mechanic involves splitting files up into small chunks and uploading those chunks, but yet it can't handle files bigger than 50 gigabytes. Maybe that's an issue with putting them back together. I don't exactly know, but it also completely struggles and just chokes if your files are bigger than 10 gigabytes. Now, an average user is never going to run into this issue. An average user is not going to have individual files bigger than 10 gigabytes on any sort of regular basis. But someone like me, a videographer who uses big video files and big video file codecs, I'm having a lot of trouble with a lot of my like more uncompressed and cineform codec footage not actually being able to be backed up to their servers because they don't accept files that big or it just chokes on some of the footage. When I started using their service back in November of 2015, the app was terrible. You could only just upload raw, like you couldn't, there was no file organization on the actual uploading app, so you just had to upload files raw to your root cloud directory, and then if you wanted to do any management, you had to do it on the web interface. But as someone who just wanted to use it purely as a redundancy backup platform for my for all of my data, for especially for my business, it was kind of annoying because I had no organization whatsoever. I just wanted to upload stuff. So then 
a few months ago, they actually added uh, uploading to specific folders and a lot more organization options. And so I basically took everything I'd already uploaded it and just put it in an, a pre-April 2016 folder and then started uploading again just so I had redundancy. The app was terrible when it first started, but it, they've improved it greatly and I can only hope that they will continue to improve it as time goes by because it still needs some work. The biggest issues are, well, as I mentioned before, it's choking on bigger files. There are times when it will just apparently fail to upload a file and it'll go back it'll say retrying and the queue will move on to other files and then this especially happened with bigger files is it would say retrying and then it'd go back to it upload it again maybe retry a couple times and then after a while it'll just say previously uploaded and be like boom it's done as if you had just told it to upload a file that was already on their server but clearly it hadn't because it was having issues with it so that concerns me that maybe it didn't actually upload, that it thinks it's up there, but it's not, or perhaps one of the chunks that it split the file into is what wasn't uploading, and so it just needed to upload that one, but since the rest of the chunks were already on the server, it decided the file was already there and just needed to upload that one chunk. I don't know. And then I've recently, and I only ran into this recently, but I've recently run into an issue where the like cloud drive service will just go down every now and then, and it's really frustrating because I... I don't have the fastest internet. I have greatly faster internet when, than when I started using the service, and so I've been backing up. I've backed up now like about eight terabytes worth of data to their servers. I, within the past couple months, it's gone down quite a few times where I will upload overnight. That's, that's where I was getting at with the faster internet thing, is I have 30 megabits per second upload speed, which is fairly fast, but still not fast enough to back up the multiple, multiple terabytes of data I have. So I leave things uploading overnight. Well, at least three different nights within the past two months, as long as well as some certain time periods during the day, I've left it uploading and it literally didn't upload anything at all. It didn't give me any errors or any warnings. It just said uploading on the same two files and never uploaded anything. I'd leave it when I go to sleep, come back, and it hadn't uploaded a damn thing. And that was really frustrating. And apparently some users use a program called ARC5, ARQ5, to encrypt their files and split them up prior to uploading directly to Amazon as a separate means of backing up. I believe that's a separate paid service over on the Data Hoarders subreddit. I'm not using that at the moment, but apparently that one has an option to continue to retry the upload until it's actually successful, so you may want to look into that. On the whole though, $60 for unlimited data storage from your smart device or your PC, keep in mind, I believe they only have Windows and Mac apps at the moment. If they have a Mac app, I'm pretty sure they do. But they absolutely do not have a Linux app at the moment, which is very disappointing. You can, of course, upload through the web browser, but it's not as efficient or fun. And you can't, you know, it, it makes it more complicated than just having a dedicated app to it. And then they have iOS and Android apps as well for backing up from your smartphone. And you can automatically set it to back up and sync your photos and videos and things like that. It's heavily photo video optimized and focused and it, it it has some issues with the server but they've made great improvements over just the past six months and I can have to imagine that they're going to continue making great improvements and I have a lot of confidence knowing that my data is stored with Amazon because Amazon is a great service and generally has great servers and things like that so this has been my review of the Amazon cloud drive, drive service I've been using it for about six months I highly recommend it, especially for the price. It's probably the best, best value for your dollar that you can get given that it's unlimited and it's priced fairly competitively. I do want to give full disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by or affiliated with Amazon, Amazon Drive, Amazon Cloud Drive, etc. In any way, I simply got a good Black Friday, Cyber Monday deal and put it to work and wanted to share my thoughts with you. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos, and I will catch you in the next one.